these are all scientists. You know, these are all very highly educated people. They all have careers that are on the line here. But she also stated that this was a patented methodology. Now, we saw earlier that uh, there was already that, you know, peer review published paper on the scans of the Great Pyramid from a couple of years ago, which is what got you involved with the team when you saw that. And but she's also saying that this method is patented. So there is a process for this. This isn't just some, you know, wild, crazy scheme. Like I've, I've seen, you know, officials from Egypt saying things like, well, it's fake news. It's like, well, wait a second here. It, it can't be fake. You have real scientists using real scans and they had a real press conference. None of that is fake. Well, I think uh, a lot of people have been, I mean, some people are like, they can't do GPR that far. I'm like, it's not yeah. GPR. It's not GPR. People thinking it's thermal imaging or it's any of that. But even people who get onto this page where it's, oh, it's SAR, that's a different thing. Um, synthetic aperture radar Doppler tomography is a, is a thing that has been around for a while. They've used it to look into um, identifying like earth, um, volcanoes and looking into inner structures of, of subterranean things. But it's just that Filippo Biondi, who is a brilliant scientist, came up with an innovation that um, adapts it in this way that can actually penetrate down that far. Um, when you're talking about two kilometers down, like they mentioned, um, that's that's getting, I think, to the limit of where that can go. But um, it is a new innovation on SAR technology, which most people don't know much about um, as it is.